with an all blacked out truck, these wheels will just look so much better because they don't have a weird silver ring and they're not gray on the inside and all that kind of stuff. So this is like the perfect spec if you just want like a Batmobile TRX. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and we are going to the Larry H. Miller Dodge Ram in Sandy to pick up a brand new 2022 TRX fully loaded. Now, quick disclaimer, this is not my TRX. This is my friend Chandler's TRX. You guys probably know him. I'm gonna include a link to his channel in the description down below. Chandler David Smith. He is the YouTube real estate guru. I've actually filmed a couple of his cars now. I filmed his Ferrari 458 when he still had it and then also his C8 Corvette when he still had it, but he has a, a car problem just like me where he likes to uh, buy and sell cars all the time because like it's just, yeah, it's it's an expensive hobby, but it is such an exciting hobby. Um, so I just wanna give you guys a little bit of a background before we actually get to the dealership and meet up with Chandler. So obviously I'm not in car sales anymore, but I film for a bunch of different dealerships and I have people all the time ask me, hey, can you um, recommend what car I should buy? And Chandler being one of my good friends, reached out to me and was like, hey Ben, should I get a new Raptor? And I flat out told him, and uh, people with Ford are probably gonna get upset with me, no, you should not get a new Raptor. And so we kind of talked about it and he's like, well, why? And the conversation went like this. Well, here's the deal. If you wanna buy a new Raptor, you're probably gonna have to get on a waiting list with a dealership, okay? That's the first thing. If the dealership will even let you get on a waiting list at this point, okay? And then on top of being on that waiting list, you're gonna have to pay at minimum $10,000 over sticker, probably closer to twenty dollars or $30,000 over sticker. Now the Raptor, the new Gen 3 Raptor at MSRP is an amazing truck. Whether you get the 35 package or 37 package, you know, for either in the high 70s fully loaded or in the low 80s fully loaded for the 37 package, it is an amazing truck, super capable, tons of fun, way better than a Gen 2. But at $10,000 over sticker, so if it's a 37 package, $92,000, $94,000 in that range, or $20,000 over sticker, $30,000 over sticker, what it's been recently, it doesn't make sense anymore, in my opinion, because at that point, right, you still gotta remember, this is a twin turbo V6 truck, right, that has live valve Fox shocks and has, you know, tons of travel and it has tons of ground clearance, it's a super capable truck, but it's like, it's a V6 truck, it's not super special, whereas the TRX is in that price range and it's actually special, it has a Hellcat powertrain and the TRX, is harder to off-road than the Raptor. I own both of them. And the T-Rex definitely has a learning curve to it because it has so much power. It's like, it's an interesting dance partner. But once you learn how to dance with the T-Rex, you can do everything that the Raptor can do, if not more in certain circumstances, okay? And again, it has this specialness to it because it has a Hellcat powertrain, right? Like supercharged V8, like, <laughs> <laughs> what more could you ask for? Uh, and so it's just such a cool truck. And so, yeah, I, I told him, I was like, dude, TRX, because also you can get one for MSRP easily, like super easily. Like you can you can go to a local dealership and you can just say, hey, I wanna order a TRX and you'll be able to get one for MSRP, right? And you'll also be able to get one. You won't have to wait on a waiting list for six months just to put your order in, just to pay $20,000 over sticker. And so in today's market, I think that the uh, the TRX is the obvious vehicle to uh, go for, and that's why I recommended it to Chandler. As I said, dude, you're gonna get a better deal on the truck. You're gonna have way more fun with the truck because he has a Gen 2 Raptor right now, and I'm like, your Gen 2 Raptor is great. The Gen 3 Raptor is better than your Gen 2 from you know a driving perspective, on road and off road. But if you want to have like a completely different experience, that's really exciting. The TRX is gonna give that to you, whereas the Gen 3 is just gonna feel like a more polished version of what you already own and you're gonna have to pay a price premium to get that. And so, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of that's kind of how things went about. And so Chandler obviously ordered a TRX, and so now we're gonna be picking up his TRX today. And so I'm super excited uh, for him to get this truck because I think that he is, I don't know if he's ever even driven one. So I think he's gonna absolutely love it. And I'm, I'm hoping that like everything that I said, he's going to uh, agree with after picking it up. So we just got here to the Ram store and Chandler's spec is just absolutely phenomenal. Now, obviously I already knew what he ordered, but at the same time, seeing it in person, it just looks, it looks so cool. Okay, so here it is. He got an all blacked out TRX. Now, he basically ordered this in the uh, street racer form is what I like to call it because he did the standard wheels, which look a lot better than the wheels that I have. I have the beadlock capable wheels, which look cool now because I've got the orange wrap to match the rest of the orange wrap on the wheels. But with an all blacked out truck, these wheels just look so much 
better because they don't have a weird silver ring and they're not gray on the inside and all that kind of stuff. So this is like the perfect spec if you just want like a Batmobile TRX. And then he didn't go for the Ram Bar or the spare tire carrier uh, because again, if you're not gonna do the lights at the top or tons of off-roading, it's not really worth it because, well, the Ram Bar makes it so it's less aerodynamically efficient and then the tire carrier, it takes up the bed space so then the bed is a little bit less practical. But he got bed liner, which is also always very, important um and yeah it's just so cool to see completely undestroyed suspension i'm just kidding my, my suspension is not destroyed but i've definitely done quite a bit with the uh truck it's cool to see this stuff all intact because i obviously did the aftermarket bumper on mine but yeah i love the i love the spec it'll be interesting it's locked so i can't see the interior right now but it'll be interesting to see the interior in person but i think that he picked like the perfect spec for this truck it looks so cool this is a little bit behind the scenes we're actually in chandler's truck right now and he's uh filming oh he just went through the... <laughs> he's he's behind the truck he's actually filming his uh, intro back there but this interior spec and sorry if you guys can't hear me very well this microphone is unidirectional so it doesn't pick up things behind it very well but anyways he did like the fully loaded interior camera mirror panoramic sunroof he upgraded leather seats like every single option that you could add from an interior perspective. And yeah, just beautiful. It makes me kind of sad to see like a T-Rex that's in, cause it's brand new, right? It's in such good condition. And <laughs> my interior is not bad, but like this is just like perfect. It's pristine. And so it's just so cool to see like a brand new clean truck. It kind of makes me want to get another one just so that I can have like a nice new truck again. But at the same time, mine's not really replaceable at this point. But yeah, I mean, this is... And let's see what the VIN number is here. So 319489, because mine's like 283 or something for the VIN number. Um, so they've made quite a few tier X's then, in that case. Like they've, they've made thousands and thousands of these trucks now. That's pretty cool to see that Ram is like, this truck's been so successful that Ram has made that many of them. I think that is awesome. But uh, I gotta show Chandler how all the uh, tech gadgets work in here. I've got Chandler here for a few minutes before he heads out. I'm gonna ask him three simple questions. So first off, his initial thoughts of the T-Rex. Secondly, what he's gonna do with his Gen 2 Raptor. And then thirdly, his favorite feature on the truck so far. So uh, first, initial thoughts on the truck. I'm blown away. It is so fun. I love just the overall feel. I definitely feel like more of a man in this truck than my Raptor. So, <laughs> And then uh, Gen 2 Raptor. So what, what do you plan on doing with that? You know, we're figuring it out. It's been my business vehicle, but my wife continues to steal it. And I have a bunch of other cars that I drive in the summer. I honestly think in the winter, we're gonna have a duel and see who wins for getting to drive the Raptor the majority of the time between my wife and me. And whoever loses gets the, or excuse me, driving the T-Rex, whoever loses gets the Raptor. <laughs> you hear that Ford? Whoever loses <laughs> has to drive the Raptor. <laughs> and then the last thing is initially, like, what's your favorite like little feature on the truck? You know, honestly, I'm really excited for the launch mode. I'm really excited, excited to take it off road, but because it's me, I think my favorite feature is how nice it feels just everyday driving because that's what I use mine the majority of the time and for it to have so much guts and so many features but to just be a really nice drive on the road like love that and that's exactly what I was talking about is the T-Rex is the Baja vehicle to go for it just like it does everything so well the Raptor does everything well as well that was a weird sentence but anyways <laughs> the raptor does a solid job but the trx is just a more like well-rounded vehicle especially when you use the snow mode we've talked about this you, the snow mode is important so chandler just left and we actually both have to make long treks home uh, his is a little bit longer than mine because he's driving uh, back up to idaho i think his drive is probably about three yeah three ish three and a half hours from here whereas my drive back home is going to be a little bit less than it's probably like 40 minutes so uh, not nearly as bad as his uh, ride but that was a super awesome experience um, being able to help him out with I didn't exactly do like the whole ordering process right because obviously I had some of my friends at the uh, dealership that still work there and I'll actually open this so you guys can see me um, help out because I obviously don't work at the dealership anymore I just do the filming and everything um, but yeah super awesome experience Ooh, I didn't mean to open up the center 
Okay, now we're good. <laughs> Sorry about that. Apparently, I don't know how to use my truck. Um, but yeah, it was tons of fun filming with him and seeing him. And I do plan on going up to his place in the near future because he has a Lamborghini Huracan Evo, which is just the coolest car ever. The Huracan has been like a dream car of mine for such a long time. I'm probably never going to be able to own one, sadly, but it's such a cool car. And then he also has a 911 GT3, which is another dream car of mine that I'm probably <laughs> never going to be able to own. And so... It'll be awesome being able to just film uh, both of those cars and just have an experience with both those cars, like drive them, have some fun with them. And yeah, super, super hyped for that. And I'm really hyped for Chandler as well. He's a really cool dude. And like I said, it was just, it was fun. Cause like it kind of, it kind of brought me back and it kind of reminded me of like what it was kind of like to be a salesman again, since I haven't, you know, technically been in the sales business for um, what, two almost three years now it's crazy like time flies by it's been almost three years <laughs> since I've left uh, since I left and did the uh, YouTube stuff but anyways I want you guys to let me know uh, what you thought about all of this and if you guys want me to do more videos uh, like this where I go to people's deliveries of cool cars I know it's kind of like a typical YouTube thing to do but I don't know I figured I'd do it because it's a T-Rex and this channel is big about T-Rexes and everything since I own it and I guess I've become like the uh, unofficial T-Rex guru because of all the uh, stuff I've done with my truck and everything. But anyways, if you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe. I never ask people to subscribe and I think it probably is something that I should do. So yeah, see you guys.